In this video I will show you what you can check if your pressure pump, water booster pump doesn't work anymore and it's just making a humming noise and it won't start. It could be a few things and the most easy thing about this problem when you try to start the pump it doesn't work is that there is a limestone inside the pump in the propellers so to fix that you can open the back of the pump motor and spin this propeller make sure the the shaft of the motor is free and it's not seized up in this case the motor propeller spins freely but if it's seized you can you see there is a like a slot for a screwdriver there you can put a big screwdriver and spin it. The next problem that might happen is that the condenser of the motor is burned out. So that's the case of the condenser and the wiring. If you hear that noise and the motor, the pump doesn't work, you should check the condenser. Turn off the power completely to the pump from your switchboard and also check that this if you have a switch next to the pump it should be also off a bit of water here from around and I turn it on nothing happens the pump is not trying to start so it's not humming like before so that's it's good there is no electricity going on here I have to say this is dangerous you should not try this by yourself you don't if you are not comfortable doing this this is not uh, an instructional video how to do this, this is how I did it and if you want to try this you should call a professional electrician to sort out the problem in your water pump. If you try this, you try it at your own risk, do not try this at home. After opening the cup, there is a lot of water in there, probably from the rain or from a leak from uh, the expansion tank could be from condensation also and the wiring here they don't seem to be touching the water so probably that didn't really it might have been that it shorted the condenser here so the electricity didn't go through the condenser to to make it work so the motor couldn't start because of it so I'll try to replace the condenser and this is each, each pump will be different, yours might be completely different, but the general idea, you have a condenser that runs in line with one of the mains wires, the blue one in this case. This is the diagram, if you want to see, brown is going straight to the motor and blue is going through the capacitor, so the capacitor can build up more energy, so it starts the motor. This is the specifications of the capacitor and it's 10 microfarad, 450 volts. So I got the new capacitor and uh, also I got some connectors, trying to change the connectors. First thing for sure is to remove all the water from this uh, case, the capacitor case. And then using a bit of WD-40 to clean the edges here, the seal on the cup didn't really seem like it was working well or it was removed someone did work on this before and probably the the seal came out and they forgot to put it back i don't know the new capacitor wires i'm trying to make them a bit straight spinning them a little bit so they are not going all over the place eventually i decided to reuse the old connectors maybe it's not a great idea but okay i tried here the main thing was to when you open the the this box to take pictures of the wiring to make sure that the wires you know how they are supposed to be installed here i had to actually pause the recording and check them my picture to make sure i got it right basically all the blues go together and the black from the motor connects to the brown from the capacitor so all the blues they connect to each other and the motor will uh, also get the black wire connecting connecting to the capacitor just as in the wiring diagram again you should not follow this video as an instruction you you should 
call an electrician to get things done for you or a plumber to fix this or if you do it yourself make sure that your wires are the same they might be different so make sure that you really know how your wires are before you try to put them back and you do this at your own risk again i also put a bit of grease on the cap to make a better seal so water doesn't go inside again and closing the the cap screwing back the lid that makes the grease really come out and fill all the gaps now i was ready to start again the pump grease also on the connector here i tighten it a little bit where the wire goes in making sure the wire is a bit goes a bit down so if there is any water seeping on the wire it will drop on the floor yeah oh no it still doesn't work after changing the capacitor i decided to try to spin the propeller a bit before i noticed one time when i did this it was starting and it was going um, um, like this and eventually it stopped again in this case it's probably the motor winding is burned after changing the capacitor the problem remains now the next step would be to refurbish the motor but on this low power motor it's just not worth it got a new pump installed with the control and everything and hopefully this will last longer and it's actually the same Chinese model not exactly the same model it's a little bit better I think it's whatever is available and maybe I will put a bit of grease on the lid on the black lid where it's the capacitor just a bit of preventive maintenance so there is less chances of water going into the wiring box the pump control works the same way now it's uh, everything is working we have water yeah <laughs> it's nice to have a uh, water problem fixed yeah now now the pump works perfectly pretty quiet also just this strange noise after i don't know why it's doing that that's all the water pressure is back everything is fine thanks for watching if you have this problem and you get it fixed let me know in the comment section below if you change the capacitor and it worked and if you repair the winding on your motor